This was the weirdest Yankee series I think I've ever watched. You start off on Thursday. The Yankees get blown out 9-2. to Rodon looks horrendous. The team only gets three hits. You know, I, I ran. Everybody goes crazy. Next day, they score 16 runs. You know, the, the offense just goes nuts. Judge with three hits. Soto with a home run. Glaber with a home run. Yesterday, my birthday, the Yankees respond by, by playing like crap. Again, they score three runs this time. Nestor, bad. Bickford, even worse. Blue Jay just run over the Bronx Bombers. All while we have the Soto injury, and is he hurt or is he not? And, I mean, not, you know, but thankfully he was in the lineup today. So we have that to worry about. And then today, we get the Yankees in between Garrett Cole in the first inning. We're thinking, oh, the bullpen's warming up. Is Cole out? Cole injured? No, Cole's fine. And the Yankees crushed Toronto here today. So far, they've scored, in the ninth inning we're recording this, they've scored eight runs. Cole looked so much better. His velocity and control were much improved from the last time we saw him out in City. Five innings, three hits, one earned run, one walk, six Ks. Our Cy Young slash future Hall of Famer is back. Thank God for that. Things can now, we can be a little bit relieved of, of this team here. We can, we can be a little bit relaxed. Maybe Cole is going to be okay. But I was very happy to see him improved. Um, again, you know, not the best outing in the world, but you know what? If, if, from a guy who just came back from a guy who had a lot of difficulties, five innings, three hits, what am I saying? This is pretty damn good. Three innings, one run, one, one walk, six strikeouts. Very happy, and it looks like he's healthy. So let's just hope and pray that that is the case. And as the offense, on the offensive side, things were good early when Judge hit his 31st home run of the year. We are not even at the halfway point. We're not even at the all-star. We are at the halfway point. But we're not even at the all-star break, and the man already has 31 freaking home runs. And that was the first time in the last 10 games that the Yankees scored first. Bizarre, weird, wild. I don't understand how it's taken this long, but thank God it happened there. That gave the Yankees the 2-0 lead because that was after the Soto single. And then things continued on after that. We had back-to-back -back walks, top of the second, DJ with a single into left field. Yankees take a 3-0 lead. Another run in the later on in that inning after Grisham singled. And then Soto walked with the bases loaded. That made it 4 nothing. This is at the point the, the bullpen was getting loose and we're all, we were all just panicking. Fortunately, Cole came back out, struck out uh, Varsho in, in the bottom of the second. Uh, three, he struck out three guys in the second. He struck out Varsho, he struck out Clement, and he struck out Kiermaier as well. So a beautiful inning there from Cole. And then the third inning, we had Glaber leading off with a double. And let me tell you something, folks. High sock Glaber. Might just be the best baseball player I've ever seen. And Glaber has really stepped it up here. Yeah, Glaber has heard all the criticism. He's playing a lot better now. And I'm, I'm relieved to see that. Did have a weird moment in the bottom of the third where Cole hit Vladdy. Uh, Cole looked like a knowledge. Hey, that, wasn't, that was an accident. You know, wasn't intentional. But that, that got nerve-wracking there. Then we had Galsman plunk judge. Fortunately, uh, nothing, nothing bad happened there. Um, we move on into the fourth inning. Cole had a 1-2-3 fourth inning there. Another hit for Glaber in the top of the fifth. Three straight multi-hit games for Glaber, and that was never could have imagined that was going to happen again. But you know, baseball. And then we had DJ with a double that scored Glaber. That made it five to one. And then a RBI double by Grisham that made it six to one. There, excuse me, that made it seven to one. It, oh, no, it made it seven to one because two runs were scored on that Grisham double. That made it seven to one. Yankees scored one more run in the top of the six after Verdugo doubled, and then Ben Rice, who is stock is going way, way up with Yankee fans, brought home uh, Verdugo there with an RBI double, and that made it 8-1. to one. Blue Jays, as far as we know, did not score again, at least again at the time I'm recording this. Yankees win this one here. This is such a weird team. I have no idea what to make of this team. I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're bad. The consistency is killing me here. I like this team more when they are consistent. I, I, I really prefer when this team is is winning more games than they're not. I prefer when the team doesn't have these weird long dry spells, but it is a baseball season. You're going to have the time when you're hot, you're going to have the time when you're cold. I just don't know right now what I make of this team, of what I, what I make of them right now. We'll have to wait and see. Now, there are some positives right now. Aaron Judge leading the American League in batting average. Triple crown hopes still alive for this man. Um, you know, we had multi-hits today from Glaber. DJ Grisham, the bottom of the lineup. We talked about 4-9 through nine being hit, uh, huge. 4-9, through nine, all got hit today. The only one who didn't get hit 
was Volpe, but 4 through 9 today came up with 5 RBIs and had a total of 9 hits. That was critical there. The offense looks like it's okay now, but who knows what to make of it. Tomorrow, they, you know, they could, they're, they're flying home now to play, play the Reds on Tuesday. They can go home, they get swept by the Reds. Anything's possible at this point. I just want consistency from this team, but it seems like I'm not going to get it. Being a Yankee fan right now, it's kind of like being a fan of England football. It's never easy. Um, this wasn't our almost loss to Slovakia, though. We actually beat the Blue Jays down pretty well, but it's nerve-wracking watching this team right now. But there were signs to be optimistic today. There were signs to be positive. It was good seeing the offense come through again. And it was good seeing Cole look a little bit more, look more and more like vintage Cole. That we could take, um, we could take that uh, very positively. So let's keep this up. This is a weird series. Uh, I hope we don't go back to Toronto anytime soon. And now it's on to face the Reds back at home, and let's hope things turn around. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a new stream to see. Make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. Yankees, Reds, game one. I'll see you then. Take care. God bless, and happy July.